Welcome. This is 49i3. I'm going to talk about current density vector and we're also going to talk about Ohm's law. So, okay. Um, we can define current density vector and it is the current per unit area. So we imagine current going through here and it depends on you know, it's like the more current going through a smaller area, the bigger the value of J, and the, the less current going through a given area, the, the smaller the value of J. If I choose to plot a graph of current density versus electric field, so how much current do you get throwing through unit area for different electric fields? What I find is that I get a linear related equation. So if I double the field, I get twice the current flow, etc. But it depends upon the material. So it's a linear relationship, but it depends upon the material. And what I find is that I can define high conductivity materials, which tend to be like metals and the like. And I can define low conductivity materials, which tend to be, um, well, you can... There's a, there's a continuum from uh, um, uh, high conductivity metals to, to, well, high insulating, low conductivity uh, um, insulators. And there's, the most materials are somewhere on that continuum. They're somewhere in between. Um, but we get a linear relationship, but the, the, line, the linearity is, is materials dependent. I can look at this, and most people look at this in terms of uh, uh, rather than, well, let me, I, I missed something. So the, the, the linking factor between the current density and the electric field is a thing called conductivity. And metals are highly conductive, you know, and, and ceramics will be a very poorly conductive. Um, if I choose to, uh, what, what happens most of the time is we tend to, uh, refer to how our circuits behave with reference to the components that we put into the circuits and one of the most common components is the resistor it is a sample uh, a a package which is made of material which is not particularly conducting and in fact it's made in such a way that we know how poorly conducting it is but rather than talking about its conductivity, we, we choose to uh, characterize it in terms of its resistance, which depends upon the material's resistivity. So we have conductivity, which goes from one extreme to another, and we have resistivity, which goes the opposite. Let's put it this way. How can I show this? So I'm going to show it. If conductivity goes like that, bigger numbers to the right, resistivity goes like that, bigger numbers to the left. So highly conductive is not, is, is a very low resistivity, resistivity and uh, um, highly resistive is uh, very low conductivity. It's the reciprocal, if you will. Now, when we're talking about materials, we talk about conductivity and resistivity. When we're talking about samples of materials, we talk about basically the resistance of the sample. So we have the resistivity of the material and the resistance of the sample of material. And it's a bit like we talk about the uh, uh, the density of uh, the material and the mass of the sample of the material. We talk about uh, 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 kilograms per cubic meter and we talk about kilograms. Uh, we'll talk about, um, well, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll get to the, the equation for it in a minute. So think of resistivity as a material property and resistance as being a sample property. So we can say we can define the resistance of a sample such that delta V is equal to IR. 
Now, please notice that we tend to plot the independent variable horizontally and we tend to plot the dependent variable vertically. And so we glance at this graph and we say, oh yeah, it's a, it's a graph of I versus delta V. And it's very easy to say, oh yeah, linear. Oh yeah, the slope is the resistance. But really, if you look at this equation, to get the slope being the resistance, I have to plot delta V versus I. And that's not typically what we plot. We tend to plot the opposite. So let's rearrange this equation so that I is equal to, ooh, 1 over R delta V. So that means that these slopes are 1 over the resistance. So we get the low resistance sample gives us a steep slope and the high resistance sample gives us a shallow slope. Just watch out for that. Sometimes people will just show you the graph and they'll say, what's the resistance of this? And they're just tech checking to see whether you're just going to look at the slope and say, that's the resistance, or whether you're going to say, well, actually, no, it's the reciprocal of the resistance. So watch out for that. Let's look at an example here. So a 12-volt battery causes a 4 amps of current to flow through the resistor. What is the resistance of the resistor? Oh, my, my word. Okay. So we have, uh, what do we know? We know delta V is equal to 12 volts and I is equal to 4 amps and R is equal to, I don't know. So delta V is equal to IR and that means that 12 is equal to 4 times R. So R is equal to 12 over 4, which equals 3. And the unit is the ohm. And it's also written as the upside down horseshoe, depending upon, you know, whether you want to put the symbol for it or the actual, the word of it. Um, by the by, um, when you work problems like this, it's easy to, to lose track of reality. In reality, you are going to pick a battery to run your circuit. And you are going to pick the resistor to go in your circuit. And you get whatever current the circuit allows. Um, there are constant current power supplies which ramp up the voltage until you get the current that you dialed in. But they're quite sophisticated. Most of the time, you pick the voltage, you pick the resistance, and you get the current that you get. And, and I remember as a student, it took me a while before that dawned on me, because I did so many of these problems where you can pick just the parameters without really thinking about building a circuit. And then when I started building circuits, it dawned on me, oh, I can't just go to a, I can't just go to a box and pick a current. That's what I'm given. So just a, a bit of an insight on that. There we have it.